Let's look at how we can create an opacity mask in Illustrator. So first of all, I'm going to open up my transparency panel. And remember, if you don't know which one it is, it's right here. Go under your window menu. So transparency, I'm going to drag out. This is the menu that we looked at, or I'm sorry, the panel that we looked at earlier where we looked at opacity and blending mode. So now the bottom part is what we're going to look at with the opacity masks. So we have two pieces to this. We have a masking object and that's the object created to define areas that are transparent and to what degree they are transparent. So if I select this text um, and I choose to make mask here in my transparency panel, by default I get a blank page. And what has happened is that uh, the default setting is to clip with this check mark right here, automatically fills the unused areas of the opacity mask with black, and black happens to make the artwork fully transparent or invisible. If I uncheck that, it then will fill my mask with white, which by the way, this is a good idea to uncheck it. And so white is fully visible. It looks as though nothing has happened. Now I can draw in either one. Right now you see a little box around my text or my artwork indicating that that is the active. If I do anything right now, my artwork will be changed. If I click on this opacity mask here, see how the outline fills that thumbnail? This thumbnail now will allow me to draw or create object shapes as a mask. And remember the white I can see is fully visible. The black is fully transparent. So if I create a box here, it looks as though I filled the box with white, but in fact I double check my fill is black. I look in my mask and I do see a black rectangle, however it's on the mask. So black hides or is transparent and white shows. If I were to do a little bit less of a black, let's do about a 37%. See how now it's a percentage of that transparency. It's not fully there. The other thing I can do is apply uh, a gradient. So if I drag this down and I go into my swatches, let's see if there's a predefined gradient. There is. And so you can see how it fades. So black is here and white. So we're fading. It's opposite of what you would think. I'm going to use my gradient and I can click to go this direction. So now um, I'm clicking to drag this gradient and it's fading away. Okay, so um, and I can I can play around, of course, with my gradient, um, however I want it to work, uh, and I can do all kinds of fun stuff with it. So that's the mask. Now, um, of course, I can edit it. What I'm just doing right now, if I click here, I'm editing my artwork. Here, I'm editing my mask. If I want to remove it, I release it. And when you do that, it's its own object. And so then I can actually tweak it. And some people may like to start this way first, initially. So if I go to a different document, a different uh, layer here. Okay. And I could create my box here or my circle or whatever I choose to do. Let's create a circle that goes out from the center. So I'm going to hold down my, my Alt key with my Shift to make a circle. And let's have the, the gradient. Uh, let's be uh, double click there, we'll open up my gradient panel, a uh, radial. Okay, and so I said white is fully visible and black is transparent or invisible. So I can drag my midpoint here just out a little bit and you know try to cover up most of this. You'll see how it works here in a second. With two objects, I actually can do something kind of unique. If I select both and make a mask, it actually will make a mask with that top object. So similar to a clipping group, so I put and I create my mask then on top, it's a little easier to see. Now if I click this, you can see here's my object and here is my mask. So I still can edit it, uh, however that allows me to create it while I'm still able to see it. 
So it's a little bit a uh, better option perhaps for some people. So that's the opacity mask. Play around with it again. The key thing to remember is that white is visible, black is not, black is transparent.